All right, it's a beautiful day today. I am at a stocked pond uh, on the Cape. My plan today is I am going to circumnavigate the entire pond. It's probably a 40 acre, 45 acre pond, um, obviously stocked by the state. And my goal is to try and catch one of each trout stock. So brown trout, brook trout, brown trout, brook trout, rainbow trout, tiger trout. So I'm gonna call that the quad. I'm gonna call this stock trout quad. All right, so that's what it's gonna be. Sixth, uh, a one sixth uh, nickel and gold uh, Thompson's Colorado, six pound test. I'm gonna circumnavigate the pond until I hit the, the school and try and get one of each species in here. I got from now until dark. I'm wondering, will you people watch a video of like unlimited amounts of gas until I catch one? Or will you just fast forward? Put in the comments. Can you see the rod tip? It's hard to see. Come on. All right, here, as I'm doing this, here, I'm gonna tell you the secret to trout fishing. Okay, the secret to trout fishing I'm about to tell you guys the secret to trout fishing with the Colorado. If you're using the 1.6 Colorado, some days you need to tow, like reel it in so slow. I'm talking like let it sink to the bottom and just barely ease it in. Barely. And that's what they're going to hit. Other days you got to speed it so fast it almost water skis. And that's the thing. It's not so much what lure you're using. That is like the secret to trout fishing. It's literally the secret to all fishing. Here it comes. And the other thing that's, okay, I'm, I'm kind of in a random mood here, but the secret to trout fishing or any fishing, it is not what lure you're using. I mean, there are times when certain lures are gonna be the one, but it's how you're using that lure. So the more, the more you limit your lure selection, like, I only have like three or four lures that I use for trout. I use the Colorado, I use a soft bait that I like, and we just started using um, that trout magnet. Just, it works insane on stockies. But it's the, knowing that lure and how to fish it. Like, some days you fish it fast, some days you fish it slow, and sometimes it depends on the time of day. But that's the key, and a lot of people, when they're fishing, make this mistake. They are always like more concerned why they're not catching, not, more, not paying attention, they're always changing things. What's more important is when you do catch a fish, is to think about why did I catch that fish? But you get, you know, you get the hit, you reel it in, you get so excited, you stop, you don't think. But then you gotta remember like, more importantly than catching that fish is, how was I reeling? Was I reeling fast? Was I reeling slow? Like sometimes, you know, your buddy will talk to you so you don't reel in for a second and it sinks down deep. Then you start bringing it up off the bottom, bam, you get a hit. And if you pay attention to when you catch a fish and how you're fishing, more important than something like I have a buddy, you guys have met him before. He's got the house in New Hampshire, John Landsberg. He takes about three casts with one lure and then he goes into his tackle box and he grabs another lure. So he will fish in a day, I don't know, so he'll fish 20 lures. And uh, he doesn't spend the time to figure out. The lure you have may be the lure that they're gonna hit that day. That may be the one that will crush them but it won't crush them at a fast speed. You gotta use a slow speed. You gotta use, or maybe it's a, you know, it depends. So more important than what you're fishing with is how you're fishing with it. And that's why for me, like if I'm fishing uh, trout on spin, I'm on the Colorado. I like this weight because I know how quickly it sinks, how fast it sinks. I use the one sixth, six pound test. And uh, I just keep changing it up until I find out what they want that day, you know, and that I'll, like right now it's midday, it's a little bright. They're probably gonna like it a little slower. Yeah, and the other uh, thing on top of this, yeah, um, believe it or not, this is rambling and anyone who fast forward through this rambling here made a huge mistake because I am giving away, I mean, some very useful information. 
The other thing is polarized sunglasses. Because if you don't have polarized sunglasses, you won't see the fish. And a follow-up tells you so much. If they're following it by like six inches, then they're hot. Sometimes you'll reel in, they'll come in, you'll get the lure out of the water, and then the fish will show up. So that's like another huge thing. Like having the polarized sun sunglasses, it cuts the glare, and it really helps. I just heard a car, uh, a car turn up. Let's just see who it is. Oh, it's Andy. Thank God. Because here I've been rambling along like a crazy person to you guys. And um, if it wasn't Andy, because I'd never turned my back, people would have thought I was a sociopath. So, all right. I'm going to shut this off for a little while until we catch him. And then I'm going to tell you what I figured out today. Like, what they're hitting on. The other day, we were dropping this thing. Letting it sink. Like, almost a five, six count. And the other thing that's important, too, is you need to know the topography to tell whatever where you're casting like if you're chucking out there and it's only six feet deep then you don't you, you won't know it, how deep you're letting it sink you know what i mean so you got to kind of know how deep the water you're casting into all that's more important like just so just pick one lure and just learn that lure and i'm telling you as opposed to a person who has a tackle box that looks like a christmas tree you know a thousand different lures different colors whatever everyone thinks is the best now just pick one. I mean, there's nothing simpler than a spoon. You know what I mean? That's like, there's been the same spoon or a close, you know, Al's Goldfish, Boyant's, um, what's another one? Cl little Chloe's, a silver, you know, those, any small gold one that you like. I like this copper over gold. And, uh, yeah, I just work it until I find what's working. You know, what the speed is, what the, and then after I've gone through that, if I go, if I go, 40 minutes, I mean, that, which is an eternity in fishing. If I go 40 minutes with a lure and I get nothing, then sometimes I'll switch it up. Like I also like the Rough Rider, which is a heavier one. It sinks faster so you don't have to wait as long. Um, that's the key. That, that, that in a nutshell, you will catch more trout. See the rod that Andy's using? This is my rod. It's a Bass Pro rod. I said six pound test. There's e Andy, same rod. Same test. Are you using a Colorado? Yep. One sixth. There's a key thing. When you fish with a buddy, as I said earlier, it's all about figuring out what they want, how they want it, and stuff. Having the same gear as your hardcore fishing buddy, which happens to be my brother, is huge because you could be saying, okay, real slow. But if you have a wide arbor, see on this reel here? The reel is a wide arbor. Like on smaller reels, like my light tackle, it's a smaller arbor. So reeling slow on a different size reel is actually a different speed. So that is a huge, huge advantage. If you and your fishing buddies fish the exact same gear, like twinsies, like Andy and I always look like twinsies. If you, if you look like twinsies, then when you say to your buddy, what are you doing? I'm using this reel. How are you reeling? I'm reeling slow. I'm reeling fast. But fast on like, say, you know, a Shimano, like a small Shimano, a Sierra, is different speed than we happen to be using these, whatever, they came with the rod. But yeah, when we change gear, even saltwater, we fish the same gear or identical gear. But it is, because that is a huge factor. Because like I said, it's not, you don't need to have a huge arsenal of lures. You need to have one or two lures that you've caught fish on, you have faith in it, and then it's about how you, how you work it, the speed you're going at, the depth you're reeling it at, maybe sometimes it's slow so fast, sometimes it's, you know, sink, pop off the bottom, sometimes it's just burn it across the surface. You never know, you gotta try all those things, but if you and your fishing buddy have the exact same gear, like right now while I'm talking to you, Andy's doing the research to help me get closer to catching a fish. Moved about, I don't know, we've gone maybe four or 500 yards tried everything finally got a little a deep spot here i got a good fish actually on the and it seems like a real slow retrieve is where it was at today at least that's what i was on when i got this one here we go we got oops sorry about the bumble Look at that, that is a smoker brookie. 
maybe. Put the rod in my crotch. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Big female brookie. That's me almost a pound, huh? Right? There's Andy. There's me working our way along. First fish of the day. Brookie. So that's one down. Three to go. I'll tell you what I think. Here comes this fish. It is a oh rainbow. Rainbow. Little rainbow. See how deep the treb is in the treble hook is in there that's because i am crawling this thing and like i said earlier it's not about the lure i'm still on the same lure but i've slowed it down to the point that is like reel it let it sink a little like drop it and they're picking it up oh, there he is it's a rainbow that rainbow actually it's a rainbow but he does have a little tigery uh oh. Tigery things here, but not calling him a tiger. There he is, rainbow away. All right, Andy's on. After hearing my advice about that, like I told you, two people using the same gear, I told him slow it way down, <laughs> drop it to the bottom. <laughs> he doesn't want. He doesn't want to admit. It's not that I'm the best. That's not I'm the best, and I taught him what to do. But he's emulating what I'm doing in everything. And what do you got there, Andy? Rainbow. It's got a nice, a nice rainbow. Same one. Let's see that release. Oh, beautiful release! And how were you getting that one? I was doing just what you told me, Dad. <laughs> Thanks. No. Really of course, as fall. brothers, no one wants to admit that the other one's helping the other one catch fish. I but was really at the same <laughs> with the reeling at the day before the day before that. Yes. That's a, I must have snagged. Andy thinks he's got a good one. He's either snagged it or he's got a real screamer. What is it? He just looks beefy. What's he got there? The snaggums. No, he's no, no, well hooked. What's going on with that guy? I'm coming over with the camera. He's got a wart on his face. Does he have a wart or does he have another lure? I don't know. Let's, 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 let's explore this. Bring it up. He's got a cut is it a, on his face. Is it a... Ugh. Sorry. All right. That's fish number three for you, Andy? Yeah. And how are you reeling it? Just like you told me, slow. I don't know what I was doing there. I didn't pay attention. But I did slow it down because I turned the corner here. We've also come to a conclusion as we're moving around the pond, the guy in the front seems to catch more than the guy in the back. Like like a Is horse a like thing? a horse costume. I'm back here sucking farts. Yeah, <laughs> You're that, catching all the fish. Real or is it just you feel that? Way? I don't know. No one knows yet. There we go. I, I moved up in the front. You can see past Andy, and uh, just a minute or two later, I caught this fish. He's really goofed up, but yeah, it's right now what we're finding it's a slow reel, and then a pause where it kind of sinks down, and then a little start up, and bang, that's where they're hitting it. Here he comes. He's got he's low this time. He sees it. He obviously thinks it's a trap. Oh, 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 there he goes. No. My trout, he got it. Boy, did you see that? It was like one second and he'd eaten it. This is self-filming trout fishing into the sun. Don't mind me. Don't. Oh, oh jump he's up. a jumper. <laughs> Another one. Come on, be something beside a rainbow. Tip this down. Oh. Another rainbow. Quickly release. Mm. 
I can get a mouthful of that. Swoosh! There he goes. Oh, now my thumb is stuck. That's six or seven for me. Dubs! Dubs! Whoa, he's a jumper. Are they really? Are they really jumpers? Or am I yanking them out of the water? That's eight or nine now. Yeah. Eight or nine. Hello, my patient. Forceps. All right. Way to go, Andrew. So filmed. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh, he's got a big bite out of him. Must have been a um, lamprey. Look at it. We'll see if we see that guy again. Ever. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, his his mean stepdad. It's very artistic. I feel like I've got one of those baby papoose things on the front of me. The way you're filming? Yeah. This is what my child would see if I had a child. This is the last fish of the night. Please see a brown coat. Oh, Axel, don't be a... Good size one. Another... Now we're back around the corner. We're back into the brook. Is it a brook trout? Yep. Huh. Nice job. <laughs> 